wong, 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 wong. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to She Said, <laughs> she said He Said, <laughs> where we talk about love and romance and whatever else we want to talk about, damn it. So anyway, guys, I want to welcome you to the show. Uh, you can find us on Cutting Edge Radio Network and Spreaker and a whole bunch of other platforms and wherever we happen to hang out, YouTube and some other places. And I want to welcome our panel today of experts. <laughs> uh, Far from we're, blend, yeah. we're blended here pretty good. So we got John Smith from the John Smith Showdown in the corner there. How are you? I'm wonderful, Rob. How about yourself, buddy? Great. It's been a while. It's, it's really nice to have you back. And we got Miss Tracy Lewin down there at the bottom in the middle. Hello, Is that everybody. purple hair? <laughs> I wish you could see it. It's way more fun than it, this lighting. We all see it. <laughs> yeah. We all see it. Do you have a neon light? That'd probably show up. I yeah. know. I got to work on that. Yeah. And then, of course, the next lighting, we have other stuff. the legendary producer, Jace. How are you today? Outstanding, sir. Thank you for having me on again. How's Florida? Beautiful. It was cold the other day. Uh, Friday, cold? it was 34 degrees. Yeah, there was frost on my car. I had to defrost the windows before I left work. It was Whoa. cold. No. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I didn't sign up for this garbage. Can, can we go <laughs> to like, California where it's warm? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Well, let me move on up real quick to Chandra. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks. Glad to be here. How's the weather in uh, Vegas? Uh, it was cold. It's not as cold as Jason's, but it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> How cold is cold? It was cold. Um, today we were at about 58, I think, to 62. That's so chilly. But, That's pretty nice. Yeah. That's enough so to get to wear a sweater. So, I'm happy. <laughs> I wasn't really flashing that I'm going to. Damn it. Course, moving right on over, we have the Georgie boy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, everybody out there. Love all you guys. Yeah, we have uh, interesting subjects today. We're going to talk about body enhancements, and we're going to touch a little bit of what it's like to date and, and, and deal with uh, somebody who's in the military. So uh, we have, uh, have absolutely no notes, so you guys better have a lot to say. <laughs> wow. Do I have lots every to say? Every time you have notes, I we don't touch on them anyway. Do. I know. I, I write yeah. notes every time. I know this. But so, guys, we're going to talk about enhancements. And when I'm talking about enhancements, I'm not talking about, like, well, you can talk about boob jobs or things like that. But there's a whole <laughs> bunch of things out there that people do that when I, I, I would love to hear some of your stories and some of your um, uh, dating experiences when you were surprised to find out that maybe the person you're dating will start off, realize that that's not their real hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking about girls or guys. So, uh, Tracy, why did I feel like that was directed at you? My hair is real. <laughs> oh, it's very real. Oh, that's really real. This, is, my, this is all natural except for the color. <laughs> he said that a she little was, too she was... sternly for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like their hair. It's all real. Their hair. <laughs> yeah. No, that's I, I can guarantee even though as a kid, she had a big thick, thick head of hair that and I loved it when dad had to put her hair in a ponytail and it was a torture. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, it was a it was like a big it was like putting a ponytail into a mop. <laughs> Put a pudding, uh, pudding up. You mean a mop in, into a ponytail? More like yeah, no. Oh well, I, well, I guess you could be that way too. I think he got it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh interesting god. childhood. So, does anybody have a particular uh story to, to share with us with that? has to do with someone that may have had a, a surprise enhancement that you weren't ready or quite in the right mindset <laughs> at the time. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, a, a major enhancement, but one thing I'm happy to say is my wife doesn't do makeup. She yeah, and we're doesn't gonna, really we're do gonna lipstick. Go makeup. Yeah. Well, we're, I know we're going to get there, but she doesn't. She doesn't really do any of that, and I find it to be so attractive 
when she doesn't like not that it looks unnatural mm-hmm. because you ladies have your way of matching things so that it looks completely natural and blush and everything else her eyeliner or lipstick but Boobies. she doesn't do any makeup Nipples. and it's I think it looks amazing. Nipples. Yeah, yeah that's what I've heard. Nipple. Nipple thing. <laughs> So, hey, hey, John, That's now you got that you. fancy studio and stuff. Are you using makeup and stuff before your shows? Absolutely. Yeah, I do uh, eyeliner. I try to make my nose look smaller. All <laughs> kinds of things. A yeah, you, have someone, you have someone powder your face so you're not too shiny. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Would you oh, like yeah. some tips? <laughs> some tips? Well, I mean, yeah, I have match, a match it to your nipples, John. <laughs> Is that an enhancement? Is that an enhancement? Is that what you're thinking, Chandra? <laughs> I'm trying to dehance my nose. <laughs> like, like I can't talk. <laughs> every time we have John in the show, his studio is getting more high tech every time. I love so it, John. It just it's, keeps it's, growing. Yeah, he's got it all fixed. His up nose of the studio. <laughs> What's that? His nose oh. of the studio keeps growing. Oh, his nose, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've, I have I can't say that I've ever dated anyone where it, it anything caught me by surprise. Oh, boy. I don't even want I'll, I'll be the last one to go. <laughs> I, I just don't. I'll, I mean, I'll be, I'll be the last one to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was wondering I about I that. Actually, because, uh, like, what if they had those hair clips, and then all of a sudden you're putting your hair, your hand through their hair, and then you get caught in one of those clips. Does that, like, I don't know. I think that would be a total turnoff, but you guys are the ones that have to speak to that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what kind of clips? Oh, you mean those uh, alligator clips? clips? Like, no, the, uh, like the hair extension clips, like where it's fake hair. Oh, but they yeah, clip it in yeah, there. yeah. Well. I mean, yeah, I guess when you're pulling on it, but you're usually, but you're usually backwards. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's not that I've, I've, I've done that before, but you're like, oh, no problem. So, so. <laughs> can you see so. George? Can you see George laying it back on top? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> no, I know, I know what you're saying. Uh-uh. But I just, in my mind, I see you apologizing profusely, just laying it back on top. Whoops. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. No, no. I, <laughs> take this back. I don't need this. Don't worry, Jason. I got a story, man. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. I won't wait till everybody else goes, though, man, because it's like, oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm going to oh, bring man. myself up. I have never dated anybody that has any kind of enhancement that I wasn't prepared for. Now, George, tell us your story. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was on, so George. not I was so not prepared for this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm dating this girl and uh, we're doing pretty good. You know, we're having a very uh great, you know, fun times dating. Okay, so we're dating and we start to get into a passionate role. Okay. So What's a passionate I guess, role? <laughs> I, I just, just bear with me here in a second. Here, I got, I, I got some, I got some a uh, little bit of build up to go with that. Okay. And so we're working into this passionate role here, and we're getting uh, to a point to where we are going to start getting intimate. Okay, so I have no idea because I'm not paying attention. I usually I'm looking a girl in. Well, in her eyes and sometimes on her chest. In her and eyes. I, in her eyes. That's why I kind of went backwards and forwards down okay. there. Anyways, but I didn't pay too much about too much attention on her feet and legs. Okay. Ooh. All right. So Uh-oh. so remember Tracy, I was, I was so you're, not, you're not a leg guy then. So you're not checking no. them out on a regular basis. No, I'm not going, you know, like that. But now, okay, so uh I was, we started to really get in it. Now, I think we were, this is the night we were going to actually, you know, do our business. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, how romantic, right? I know. I, I, I'm a rom- I, I'm a real romantic. There we go. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly how I felt afterwards. It was very, uh, very, very surprising. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm working on her shirt and, you know, it's getting intimate and getting, okay, and it's getting very hot and heavy. And of course, 
we start to kind of undress each other and mm -hmm. and I start working on the pants and um well she's a little bit kind of hesitant on that and I said well some girls are you know they don't want to just step into something like that right away and I'm like okay I can respect that but I keep working at it of course <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and eventually she gave in because it was you know I was quite uh, the yeah, romancing were, type and nonetheless yeah the, you know Chandra I mean Chandra knows <laughs> yeah that's right uh, but anyway it, we got to a point to where we started getting into it you know and then all of a sudden I started taking off her pants and lo and behold she had a prosthetic leg shocked the shit out of me <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> she, I, she had a prosthetic leg, and I'm like, well, you know, it wasn't the fact that I was so upset about that, the prosthetic leg. It's just that uh, she really didn't kind of forewarn me, and I was a little bit on the surprise side. So so that really was the most shocking moment that I've ever experienced okay. where all of a sudden – did you still take care of business? Wow. And I tell you what, it was still fun. <laughs> it was still fun. Thank you. Exactly where I was going with that. I thought that was even more attractive. I was like, wow, this is awesome. Because <laughs> she didn't have to spread her legs at all. <laughs> I was going to say, it opens up the it possibilities, was right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, 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 what you, you had a stub, you never go back. Oh my god. True story. Her name, yeah, Eileen. True story. True story. <laughs> <laughs> no, her name was not Eileen. <laughs> Yo, did oh you know God. her, John? Did you know her, John? <laughs> Starting to ring a bell. I swear you met her when you were up in Washington. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my, oh God. my God. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could add some different positions in the, you know, the book. Uh, of you know, I, we, we were very successful in a lot of different ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that concludes today's show. <laughs> yeah. And on yeah. That note, yeah. 13 we minutes in and or... we're done. <laughs> Boom. Did Do I guys... drop the mic and walk away or what? Yeah. Yeah. How do you there drop that? that? Georgie Boy actually wrote a song. <laughs> yeah. What? What's Let's that? Come on, Eileen. You know, did you guys know that uh, George wrote a song? Let's hear it. She's got that zing. There's just one thing. She's got a penis. <laughs> that was not the wooden well, leg I was thinking that's about. The, that's the wrong stuff. I thought you were going to say it was called Come on Eileen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Somebody got oh, her. Right. So, so do any of you girls in there uh, wear fake eyelashes? Okay, so I did this past weekend for the first time ever as part of my training. And training for what? MUA. Okay. Which What's that? Is, <laughs> what? MUA is for uh, makeup artist certification. Oh. So it was in the third step of it. Gotcha. So to be able to apply them to others, you have to try on your own or wear them so you know how they feel and you can help somebody through them. So it's the first time. And no, I'm not going to do it again. Nope. Can I just say anything that requires feel weird. training so you know how others feel probably shouldn't be worn by anybody. <laughs> <laughs> probably a good point, but you know, they do that when you go get a boob job too. You know, they make you wear a fake set for a while. Do <laughs> they really? The they also do that. that for police They have to try to like on a pays. fake set. You don't have Did to they make you them. wear it for a week, Tracy? No, 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 no. <laughs> they, they, they have you put them on, so you have it. You know what they look like. You want to like, and then you do the t t shirt test. So yeah, then they, they work for you. Yeah, because you want to see the profile. It. Okay, like see. Give it a you go, Oh Hello. yeah, that's what I want. Uh -oh. You know. <laughs> I get it. Grace okay. is like, I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking. You have to know what they look like, so they give you an idea. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was a nice way to make your dad and Jason comfortable. That was good, dear. Yeah, yeah. I bought him. It's guy from oh, the guy from my wife sees it. Isn't that that? It's guy from my wife sees it. Gonna be, well, why'd you stare at the screen so hard? I found a bug I, on the I floor. Was looking the bug no, it, it's only a problem if you're wiping off the screen from the drool. <laughs> <laughs> George, you, you, you missed the spot. <laughs> right when, you, when you have those mm. fake eyelashes on, do, do you find you're blinking your eyes a lot? Right. No. After a while, they don't. I like how they look, them. though. Yeah. You couldn't tell they were on after a while, and it didn't. It wasn't a pain in the rump. I do know women who wear incredibly large ones or have very, very large extensions that it looks like a tarantula crawled up on their eyes and died. <laughs> but you can get them in so many different shapes, sizes, and styles. It's not a big deal. So well, some people actually get them like tied on or something like that. Where no, they get them glued on. What? They're, no, yeah, they're glued on and they're called an extension. No, yeah, you can't weave glued. them. In. Yeah, they're glued on and it's called an extension. And then you can have them curled so that they always stay nice and curled. So, mm -hmm. but, wow. so when, since when we're talking about up, eyes, eyes here so much, have you ever done anything wild and crazy with your eyebrows that you never thought you'd do before? Like wax them? <laughs> I've seen yeah. I've like some of them are actually they'll actually remove what they have and then paint on new ones. Oh, I don't get that. I totally it's don't get that. Called microblading, and some people don't have very thick brows, and so they need some help with them. I personally don't have enough eyebrows that I want to get rid of what I got, and I'm oh. keeping them. And I need all that I have. I don't have enough. Man, so when you paint them, them on, and never they're had like, to wax them, never had to thread them. So when they paint them on and they're three quarters like of an inch thick, we know they're fake. Okay. Yeah, there's this whole Groucho <laughs> That's Marx what I'm, yeah, that, that other way up here, and you look surprised. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they go way up high. No, I'm talking like way up there. What? Like, oh, God, are you kidding me? And yeah, when they blink, thank it's you like, for Whoa. your facelift and your Whoa. tattooed eyebrows. Oh, or or, the, or that one blink? giant one, you look like Gene Levy. Or they go like, <laughs> well, they kind of go a little crooked, too. I've seen them like that, kind of like that. Oh. I can't uh, well, did you know that yeah, nobody's face is symmetrical, so it's going to to some degree. And when they blink, it's like they're straightened out. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, uh, just go with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so uh, um, I don't know if Jace has had this problem yet. He's probably not quite our age yet, but um, uh, he is not. We're finding that as we're starting to get haircuts as older people, we get our ears done and eat side of it, and now we have to do our. Our, our eyebrows, because every once in a while there's like one eyebrow that goes a mile out there. Like, <laughs> no, unibrow. I don't have I don't have that problem. But as you can tell, I you know get the sides cut and I leave the, the top long. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I do it most of the time at home. The only problem is though is my wife has to come home like a mother who just realized their child cut their hair when they were sleeping or something. She's like, <laughs> God damn it! I got you got to fix the back of my neck and my hair. I couldn't have fucked up that bad. Jesus Christ. It's like, why are you yelling at me? It's my head. <laughs> yeah, we have to look at it, though. So there is. Yes. A yeah. here, she is here she is pressing the clippers against me. Can't stop. Damn. Yeah, all right. I won't do it like, anymore. When you look yeah. like you just came out of chemotherapy, buddy, you got to get it taken care of. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and yes, I do believe that men should groom their eyebrows and we should yes. not be random stray gray eyebrows making their own way into a conversation <laughs> looking like tentacles. Like, oh! When you have them getting reception, that's a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just oh, my gosh. Away, my, my uncle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He had them out the here. You <laughs> thought it. Every time he moved around, man, it would be like, <laughs> oh my gosh, there was a couple of bugs up there, man. I swear. It was <laughs> it was insane. It's I was really like, cool. man, have you ever thought about trimming those things? He goes, No, I don't like them just the way they are. Just there's a bushy out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, so 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 John, I gotta pick on you for a minute. That we know I know that you have a customized uh, pull cue on your head. Uh -huh. uh, do you do that on your own or do you have to have some help uh, keeping that nice and shiny? No, I do that all on my own. I don't know if I could do that. I keep thinking about one day, like maybe I should do Just that. Do it, man. I'm Just thinking, do how it. In the, how in the heck can you do that and do a good job at it? 
It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, you can do the old mirror in the mirror trick, you know, to make yeah. sure it's taken care of. But yeah, I do it myself. I've been doing it myself probably for, I don't know, 18, 20 years. Are we talking um, about marriage? We're talking about shaving your head. Shaving <laughs> my head. <Okay. laughs> marriage I've been doing for 22 years. <laughs> so john on that customized pull cue is there like a number eight or anything like that like on that bow i just want to know it's like no. nothing uh, like, no designs it's a 22 it's how long he's been married <laughs> and it is big and white just like a big cue ball nice. <laughs> yeah. that thing doesn't get any sun i wear a hat 99 percent of my life in fact, it seems like uh, everybody I know from Phoenix are the most whitest people you ever met. met you <laughs> That's because we all moved here from up north. Yeah, we yeah were you guys want to expose yourself to the sun. So sure, yeah. Tracy is, I mean, she, you pretty, pretty much glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah. 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 Same with Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. always tell a native because we're the white people that live here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people that have been here a long time. Tourists get a tan. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's right. Oh, man. Tourists and teens. <laughs> yeah. So have you ever had a friend or somebody, your acquaintance, that, that wore a toupee, a toupee? Oh, I had a football coach in ninth grade. His name was Mr. Kamenjar. True story. And he, when he would uh, go down, like when he would say, all right, you got to get down in your four point stance, right? His, it would open up like a can. <laughs> and it would, it would, Cause he was sweaty. And it would literally. Oh open. my gosh. That's hilarious. He would, he would stand back up and flop it down and, you know, adjust it. And it would just do it again. Oh. And it was just over and over. It's like, dude, you're not pulling anybody. <laughs> That's why you want to buy them like two sided tape for uh, for Christmas. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> to that. To keep that thing from flopping. Yeah. yeah, some of that new magic tape you see on TV. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them are real bad too. I mean, it's like there was a dead rat on his head or something, you know, because uh, <laughs> it was so bad you could just tell, you know. It just oh, yeah, like when it's dark rat. and then the sides are real gray. Yep, you know? exactly, man. You got this big old rat just sitting on top of your head. That's just yeah. so oh, bad. No so no, not calling anybody. Just shave it all at that point. Just give it. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting to the point where I was having to do a comb over. I said, Nah, I'm just gonna shave yeah. it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm do I'm comb done. It looks even worse. Sexier to go bald or be yeah. bald than it is to try to figure out what to do with thinning hair. Yeah. Just get rid of it. Yeah, just do just it. Just wear get rid it, of it proudly. It's so much sexier. Yeah, bald works. with dignity. You know what I mean? Yep. But there yep. are some people who do not have good looking heads. Mm, well. Like, I, you know, like you have to have a good looking head to be a bald person. Yeah, yours is, all, yours is all right, Rob. Yours all yeah, right. Rob, it's not too bad there. Yeah, uh, John, do you want to show us yours, George? Like, if we're going to do well, let's see what we got. Hmm. Yeah. George, you're pretty white. <laughs> John's pretty John white. John is really what? white. <laughs> that almost, John was almost looks joking. unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, bet, I bet you if I walk by, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, if I walk by him in a store, with his hat off, I wouldn't. I'd walk right by, not knowing him. I, mean, I wouldn't recognize anybody with a mask on. <laughs> That's true. I don't care who you are. I'm not gonna. I'll walk right by you. I don't know who you are. I mean, you got a mask on. I don't know. You all look the same to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so let's let's, let's take a little crazy. turn off into the old makeup department. Okay. And uh, so I know there's two versions of this we have with guys and gals on our panel here. So I'm going to start with the guys first, the ones that go on and, and ones that have, have you met people that have like went way over the top or oh, two, yeah. did you date someone or be so, with somebody who did makeup all the time? And then one time, the one time you've seen him without makeup <laughs> and you were, and you were shocked. Uh, are those, uh, uh, <laughs> Any, any stories like that, guys? Hmm, plenty. Yeah, well, the next morning after a drunken stupor. <laughs> <laughs> when their face melted off. <laughs> Pretty much the whole thing. It was like, okay. yeah, what happened, man? Oh, my gosh. is down here. You no, know, man. I swear. From here all to here. In, it was all on the pillow. 
Yeah. It was all just came off on the pillow, and you're like, oh my God. That's where the term coyote ugly comes from. <laughs> Why are you out exactly you just right. I just want to bite my leg off and run. I oh, wish yeah, you got to chew this arm really off to bad. get it. Yeah. So, so Jalen a lot of times will come down and spend the weekend with her, something like that. And I've always uh -huh. seen Jalen, you know, for years. But uh, unfortunately, many times I've seen her uh, after spending the night at our house, wake up in the morning going, damn, girl. <laughs> She's going to kill I was wanted to send her this. back and get in there and put your makeup on. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. Wow. God, I hope, she, God, I hope I mean, she's listening. Well, it's not much of a shock because she really, I mean, she does a really good job of what she does with her hair and stuff. And boy, when you don't see her with her hair the way she normally does it and, all, and their makeup on, I, I I literally hardly recognize her. It's, it's she's going to kill you for this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. You yeah. know this is on live air. This and this is yeah. 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 I'm She's waiting for probably I'm, listening. I'm waiting for the little thing to bleep up and see her cop <laughs> pop on the show. Ding. But she, she yeah, she 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 you. Oh my gosh! Airing her dirty laundry on t on <laughs> the live stream TV. Oh oh my God. God. I, so I think it's fun. called a trowel. If you have to use like a like one of those things you spread concrete with to put your makeup on, <laughs> <laughs> you need to yeah. re-examine yourself. Yeah, you know? that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm the youngest guy here, uh, and of course, girls in high school. George, don't don't lie to yourself, buddy. Don't get all that off. You know, don't lie. I'm the youngest guy here, and of course, girls in high school were experimenting and and trying different eyeliners, and then it was just way too much, and then makeup. I like so why why is your skin one tone, and then your face is like six more darker? Like how yeah. the hell did that happen? Did you fall yeah. into it this morning and just, yeah. I don't know. Or, you remember like in gym class when the girls would start to sweat and some of the oh, faces would yeah, melt, like, it would melt. Streak. like Raider to the Lost yeah. Ark, you know, when they were looking yeah. at the Ark, it was just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I said, yeah, you maybe got to re-examine what you're doing. Oh there. I, 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 no I one is that good, ugly. I do have another good embarrassing story for another family member, which would be my daughter. Oh, she, oh was, boy. she was a ballroom dancer. Oh, yeah. And a, a, in co competitions and stuff, real ballroom dancer. So they're told to enhance the makeup that they wear. And so we go to your makeup. competitions and I I look at you. I couldn't help but stare sometimes because you'd have this very show makeup <laughs> on. And it's like, and it's like, I just wanted to turn to your mom and go, did you teach her to do that? Because <laughs> I mean, no. everything's super heavy um, because it's for dancing. For and, and, and every, every dancer does that. But that first yeah. time I saw you all duded up for a, a competition, it's like, how in the hell did you get all? I mean, it looked good, but man, I mean, you I shouldn't want to like, touch her. Forever to do or, it too. Even give someone a kiss, you'd just be a mess. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it, was, it would be. Late yeah, I was. On. That was a shocker to me. First time I saw you for a competition, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's show makeup because show makeup you want them to see your smile. Yes. Like, there's the normal <laughs> twenty feet plus forty. So, like, you really I, want every expression to show, well, including freezing, eyebrows. You're, freezing, you're, freezing. Oh, yeah. you're bad. I don't know. So yeah, like, and then my hair, I would have so much hairspray in it. It would take me two days of washing it to get all the product yeah. out. It would be so stiff. I was like, it's terrible. But it looked yeah. great. It seemed like every, <laughs> every other every other ballroom dancer else had. It seemed like it's like every it was like every uh ball, every, every other ballroom dancer had had lipstick on their teeth. <laughs> This just oh, had so nice. much lipstick on, it couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of red lips, lots of red lips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, now, now, Chandra, she she really puts it on heavy. Dear, look at all the makeup she's got on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you're about three for three tonight, there, Rob. <laughs> No, uh, she. I can tell she. She didn't burn. Not gonna all really... the ladies. Nobody's gonna show up to the show <laughs> next week. <laughs> I was like, really? No, You're she's not two. wearing Come very on. much makeup at all. That's amazing. She. She's a natural beauty. Yeah, she is. Oh. 
Thanks, guys. But you, you do remember last week when I came on with absolutely no makeup, you're like, are you, are you okay? I, <laughs> I said, I said yeah. you looked great. Remember? Yeah, right after you recovered from the what the fudge? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't recall saying what the fudge. <laughs> I think that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I grew up in a house where my mom was very, very good with makeup, and we used to nickname her the Geisha Girl because she had so much makeup on. So my sister and I were pretty adamant to not really wear very much makeup. And so then I went through a whole phase after my kids got a little bit older where I wouldn't wear makeup at all because I went through the whole phase where you need to be able to value me for me not what my face says right <laughs> and then one day i went damn i really miss wearing makeup and i started wearing it again and my husband was fucking thrilled i mean i'm pretty sure he went oh my god oh my gosh yeah he's like oh wow she has really blue eyes she has this but i didn't wear makeup for years even when we first started dating i'm like you better be okay with it being in a ponytail and no makeup because this girl is not wasting her time with that shit now I'm a go. professional makeup artist. So, Although so I, I, I have a question for the panel. You kind of reminded me of something. So do you remember anybody in your past that had hopefully a good a good smell about them? A certain like for example, my dad always smelled like old spice. And so I've always I just my dad always smelled great. He was an old spice guy. Um, and you know, he was a suit and tie kind of guy. So he was always uh, wearing a cologne and stuff, but that was just a smell that every time I smell, I think of my father. Excuse me, Rob. I don't mean to laugh, but I, you know, oh. I'm trying to find a cologne that I like. And I think I brought some, like a tester of old spice home. Uh -huh. and my wife goes, that smells like old man. So when you said that, I'm like, oh, that's why she doesn't like it. Okay. Like old man. That's exactly why. <laughs> that or I think her dad used it. Like I used to use the body wash and the, the spray and the, yeah. you know, so she's like, that smells like old man. I'm like, that's what she meant. I, I remember I used to have even some friend, a uh, particular friend that would wear a musk all the time. Uh, Ugh, oh, that Tracy, must Tracy, stuff, yeah. I know exactly Tracy what you're exactly about. What I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, oh, it's that just, and Brute. Like, that it and Brute. Brute was good yeah. stuff. Yeah. That was better, than, women the that was better than the other one. There's women that actually, uh, some reason, that just have a particular perfume or something that they've always used all their lives. My, and so my wife every time used, you're around them, you'll know that I'm smell. sorry. My wife uses uh, Japanese cherry blossom everything. So the whole yeah. bathroom always smells like it. So when she takes a shower, I could smell it walking in the front door. Um, and then I have a bottle of um, Versace blue jeans. I get one bottle a year. <laughs> now, ladies, I'm, there's a ladies. perfume. Okay. It's called Kalesh by Hermes. Okay. You Nobody wears it. It's very difficult to find. But it is the best. <laughs> oh, and if and I smell it, yep, it, it you just might fall. fellow. <laughs> yeah, Kalesh by Hermes. You fall to their knees. What do you do? Fall to their feet, there, John? Well, what man, I'm a married man, but I just, you know, I just love that. I love that smell. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna. Mine used to be. I, I don't really. I can't really smell things, or I don't like to smell cologne anymore. But I loved the smell of polo by ralph lauren mm -hmm. and that stuff smelled so effing good that mm. you could be in the store and you could be like two aisles over and if you had it on wasn't laden on you i swear to god i'd walk over to your aisle and start following you and one time i was in the liquor store and i did that <laughs> and a woman stopped me like, Are you following my husband and i go yeah he smells really good <laughs> she just stopped and looked at me, you know, like, what are you gonna say? And I'm like, I yeah, know, it smells right? really good. You know, I just want you to know your husband smells really good. She's like, Oh, okay. Cause I think she thought I was actually gonna try to hit on him or that I would like be shocked and turn away and say, No, 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 sorry. 
no mistake. Oh my God, I answered her honestly. Yeah, your man <laughs> smells hot, okay? Just like that. So I you know. like polo. But actually now I like Tom Ford's um, Oud of Tobacco, which is very uh, deep and, and it has a very earthy smell, but it doesn't smell like dirt and it doesn't like cigarette smoke it smells like pipe tobacco so it smells really good it, like so when my husband wears that or by a company called whiskey when he wore that it, oh damn dude you're getting late i well anyway it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. your husband's over there so ordering anybody, anybody right door. amazon here we come that's right. <laughs> I mean, play now. Two-hour delivery. Come on. So, uh, <laughs> ever, ever, ever been stuck in a meeting or like a, a elevator or something with someone that wore too much or bad perfume? Yes. Oh, yeah. or, or cologne. Or cologne. I used to work in a call center, and first of all, it was in a tech center, so there's very few women in the first place. There's like eight of us out of eighty. Yeah. Uh, that's it's not freezing on my side. No, I still see her. Okay, yeah, it's good. So it might be me. With this lady, she could walk anywhere through that call center, and I can tell you exactly which rows she went down, which route she took. Like, and it would be thirty minutes later. It was yep. so potent. <laughs> I was like, it was terrible. Luckily, it smelled good, but it was strong. Yeah. You know, and and I remember going to high school, you know, after gym class, you're supposed to shower and kind of clean yourself up. <laughs> and, and every girl I, had a love spell. <laughs> well, no, and all I can smell, <laughs> and, and every time I smell it, it brings me back to high school, bod or axe. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Every boy's high school, every boy's locker room smelled like bod and axe. And, and even if you just walked through, like, you had to carry something out to the shed before you go take a shower. You got high walking from the gym out to the shed. It's so like, oh, God, this stuff. Like, I don't know why we used to think it smelled so good. That shit stinks so bad. More like bod so and bad. ass. That's exactly what it smells like, man. It smells like <laughs> soggy ass and socks. When you smelled it so often and so long, it smells yeah. like bod and ass. <laughs> and like I said, I don't know what made us think that smelled so good in high school, but then every guy started buying it because they were cheap. They were like two bucks for a big old spray bottle and that shit lasts forever. Now I will tell you this, the worst is, and this is not, to, not to be racist in any way. Let's just clarify that. But the Indians, they are like, like the people from India. Oh, they wear I know like where a, you're going with this really one. Really strong perfume to cover up because a lot of them have curry. they smell like curry and body odor, and they use the strongest stuff to cover that, and that stuff is horrible. It's yeah, now horrible they smell like itself. ass, curry, and body odor. Oh, so bad. <laughs> yeah, so like when you're stuck calling. in an elevator with that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's no. worth taking the steps. The yeah, worst. Is the ladies that pick that? It's like a, a oil. It's like got an oil based peppery smell. It's uh, I don't know what it is, but usually older ladies pick it, or a particular type of lady picks it. And that stuff, it makes your eyes water. You think they hit it with a pepper spray, like yeah. you walk into that cloud, and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it smells All like I rain. Think about is people who put patchouli yeah. on, and then you're like, oh god, not patchouli, you. But <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but. Man, that's the I used to have this one client that would come and my office isn't that big, you know, per se. It's just normal size room. And she would spray on like, you know, there's a theory for women that you should spray in front of you and then walk into the mist spray and whatever's left. left. Yeah, whatever's left behind. And if you can't smell it in two hours, that's perfectly fine. Because if somebody's close enough to you, 
they should be able to smell it. You shouldn't smell like you're drowning in something. So this woman, I'm pretty sure that it actually came out of the shower head, like the rainforest shower head, and she walked through it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And no she doubt. Went into my office, and literally my eyes would start tearing, my sinuses would lock up, like tear gas. I couldn't breathe. I'm like, oh geez. She's Just got like oh, well, it's really good perfume. And I'm like, it's not good. See my eyes watering? Like if I wore contacts, it would have floated out of my eyes. It was so bad. I'm like, damn, <laughs> you cannot wear that anymore in my office. I am allergic to it. She's like, what? Chandra, it's <laughs> funny that you mentioned Ralph Lauren Polo. Yes. Because when I turned 21 and we would all go to the, the nightclubs. Yeah. Like there would be like six of us going together. Every guy would just, we'd be sharing the bottle of polo, right? <laughs> on. I'm pretty and sure then the car, the the yeah. car stunk so bad. And it's like getting drunk off of like a specific alcohol. You can never drink that alcohol again. That's <laughs> polo. You know, yeah. Followed. Chad, it's funny followed. you should say that. It's funny you should say that because I used to work in, in a gentleman's club. I can identify who are friends with who because they all smelled alike. I now know why because they were passing the bottle in the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's totally makes sense. It's like, why do you smell like that guy and that guy smells like that strip? No, maybe not. <laughs> so, George, I, wear, I used to wear Pierre Cardon. Pierre Cardon. I remember that. Pierre Cardon. Yeah. Pierre Cardon. Yes. Yeah, and, and that's Georgia, exactly, that's Georgia. how I wowed you. Uh, that's how I wowed your buddy, Chandra. Oh, is it? I nice. think so. I think so. I think, wow. I think Sherry, one of her favorites was always white shoulders. I think was called. Yeah. Oh, is that right? a lot. Of yeah, but is it like a goose? linen. It looks like a goose. I, I don't Mine. remember. But, uh, no, it was white shoulder that mom liked. White shoulder. Mm -hmm. White shoulder. White yeah. shoulder. It's my Estee Lauder. So. I liked, and I swear, just like Shauna was talking about hers, white diamonds. No. I dated, I dated this girl that wore white diamonds. And I loved it for a while. Oh, my God. And then I got so sick of it, I can yeah. smell people coming with it down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I loved it at first, and then now I just, oh my gosh, every time I smell it, I want to vomit. That's how I feel about Jaeger. <laughs> you know? well, George, yeah, so I, I, I got to touch on a little bit of uh, military life, especially as a Navy boy. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, since you worked on the ships a little bit and stuff, what were some of the f unique things like when it comes to? Like smells and things like that uh, on, <laughs> on ships. That uh, oh man, that everybody's. Forget. I mean, pretty much everybody's let or smell like a cheap whore coming in <laughs> because <laughs> every single damn wife sprayed their damn perfume on the freaking letter. And oh my gosh, you'd be like, "Oh, you got to be shitting me!" That smells like. A camel's ass. Stop. <laughs> Tell her stop sending you that stuff. It smells Not like a camel's using, ass. If she was using Kalesh by Hermes, it didn't smell bad, I guarantee you. Yeah, well, I don't <laughs> I think, think I smelled any of that right stuff. I know. <laughs> I'm telling you. We should, we should have a more like for this head show. flesh than Kalesh. Yeah. Ladies, <laughs> I want you to try it. I want you to go to like Perfume Mania or wherever, wherever you got to order it and oh, try it. And then give me some feedback. Let me know what your how your Hermes store to try Definitely. it. <laughs> they have it at the Hermes that I'll <laughs> try some of Courtney. It's Hermes. It's not Hermes. It's different. It's Hermes. 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 Yeah. Cool. It's Hermes. called Clash. So tell, tell us some of your uh, shipmate nightmares. There, George. Well, you know, relationships are tough in the military. You know, you have uh and, uh, you know, having people go off for six, seven months, um, things get tough. You know, uh, people get lonely and things happen, you know. And uh, I'm not saying that happens to everybody because, you know, some marriages last and even become stronger when people are away. But on the on uh, some instances, you just uh, you have problems with people cheating and uh 
and there's just the, there's different types of things that happen. You know, there's a lot of dear John letters. Sorry, I need to. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. And and here you are. You get and back then our our, letter, our mail didn't just roll right in like it does now. Yeah. I mean, on email or anything like that. It was like you're waiting weeks, sometimes months to get a letter. And then all of a sudden you get this dear John saying, well, I'm leaving you. I'm taking the kids or, and this, that, and the other. And then the guy's just absolutely just destroyed literally just by that one letter, you know, and then, then he's unsafe and then he's not working safely on the, on the flight deck or. I'm going to say, you don't ever send that letter with somebody who's working on the flight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> man, a horrible thing. Yeah. And so yeah. that's, uh, you know, it, it, it can be really bad. And then of course it can be really yeah. good too. You've got. People saying, I can't wait for you to come home and and uh, you're going to get some booty. I, I know that's not what they said. <laughs> but yes, uh, sometimes, yeah. I was like, I'm much. sure there's a few of those. <laughs> that, yeah, they do. Yeah, there is. Definitely. And that was, you know, I, I always read those letters. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just impressed you could read, George. I'm just, yeah, I know. I'm just, uh, and who even knows it was actually his wife sending it to him, you know, so it, it could have been somebody else. So uh, were, uh, there was, go ahead. You served on aircraft carriers, didn't you? Yes, I did. I served on three different aircraft carriers, as a matter of fact. So, what, and what was the typical, what was the, what was the now, typical population? Well, a population it can be anywhere from three to four thousand people wow. uh, on a, on an aircraft carrier, and uh, I was on the Midway. Uh, that was my last carrier. I was on the Enterprise for most of the time, and then I was on the Nimitz as well. So I, wow. I was on three different aircraft carriers. So we uh, wow. spent a lot of a lot of a lot of time out at sea. I mean, months. Sometimes uh, I probably spent the whole time I was in the Navy four or five years at sea, and I was like half my time. So I'm checking it out right now, John. Yeah, John, John just sent us a link to uh, this uh, that perfume. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> look, here's the thing. Don't get me wrong, okay? I, I'm interested in trying it. Herpes? <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Is you know I'm interested in trying it and uh, maybe mm -hmm. get a free little test bottle. But clearly in the title, it says toilet spray. Sure. <laughs> Toilette. Toilette. <laughs> don't want anything that has to do with a toilet. Hey, accept a oh. toilet because when you need one, buddy, <laughs> you need one. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and look, and then all of a sudden, about poop. oh, look, what a Are great those? one to talk about poop. Uh, Are yes. those Hermes smelling booby bags? <laughs> <laughs> That's no, limon, limon. <laughs> no. These so are what you need to do, one big. of you needs to order it, and then you need to mail it to each other because it's, it's a little pricey. Yeah, but, I was going to say, I saw that price. Yeah, I want, I want little some little. feedback. I, I got to get yeah. some feedback. I'm going to go to the store and try it because I'm not spending yeah, 100 on something. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. they do have it at Perfumania, like in the malls. Ow. I have That's an actual Hermes store. Oh, what's the price? If I'm not carrying it in the Hermes store, I'm not buying it because yeah, they it's will. probably a knockoff. Holy jamoli. Okay, and I'm so mm, I'm gonna go to the store and see if they've got it first. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And if they don't have it, then I'm not buying it because it okay. didn't it wasn't legit. It's gonna stink. Now you can't tell you can't tell your husband that you did it. You just gotta put it on. Okay. And wait for him to respond. Does it matter if he doesn't have a sense of smell? <laughs> well, I mean, if he's got the COVID, you probably, you know. <laughs> well, not going to do, really like, do him any good, is it? <laughs> I have an actual true story. Like, there, when we first started dating, I'd make great food. And he'd go, oh, yeah, this is good. I'm like, well, do you like it? And he's like, yeah, it's really good. Wouldn't matter what I make. He wouldn't have a clue what it was, like whether it had mushrooms, whether it was chicken cordon bleu or meatloaf. And he's like, no, I can tell the difference, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, one time I make chili and I make manicotti sauce. And I leave and I tell him the chili's in the fridge. Go get it. Eat it. When I get home, he says, that was interesting chili. You put new stuff in it. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Whatever. He doesn't know what he's eating. The very next day, I'm making manicotti for the family. And I say, hey, will you go out to the refrigerator and bring in the manicotti sauce out of that? He's like, that's manicotti sauce? 
is like, Whoops. oh, I'm like, oh my God, you ate all that manicotti sauce and thought it was a thing of chili? And no wonder you thought there were strange things in you. Go, well, the cheese and onions and cornbread, it was good. I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is probably supposed to say that one on air. <laughs> but anyway, yes. I don't know if well, I smell perfume, John. <laughs> hey, you never know. You got to give it a shot. But anyway, well, I got to check that's out. Story. <laughs> all right, John's, right, John. John's got a show. Uh, John's got a show right after this. So uh, thanks for joining us, John. Take it easy, John. Nice thanks, seeing John. you, man. Okay, Bye, guys. John. Have a great Bye, week. Okay. Bye, brother. Bye. Buddy. Yep. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lately, he's had a lot to talk about in his show. <laughs> really? I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a political, political commentary. So, yeah, there's never a lack of uh, something to talk about lately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll stick to the relationships. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been, a, I've even, I, maybe, I mean, I, I I got away from mainstream and I got away from CNN and all that stuff. And, and I used to be a Fox person. I don't even watch that anymore. I can't stand that anymore. So I'm getting to a point now. I just I can't watch any news anymore. This is driving me crazy. I don't watch yeah. the news, man. I, but, I don't know. Yeah, myself. I don't watch I just, the news. I uh, nah, me neither. Yeah. And the funny part is, you know, that's one of my jobs, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I film yeah. the news, and I'm like, I can't even. I can't even bring myself to to watch it for you know my own highlight reel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't do like oh god please no. Yeah. <laughs> I can't one of the reasons why I gave up the the art you know good talk radio. I mean I had so many conservative talkers which was great and I, and I didn't have that many liberal ones but uh, uh they would would have been welcome. But uh, boy after you know four years of hearing their shows and stuff and, uh, and then uh, and if I do my own shows and do a mix of that and I do a little study of a certain subject, by the end of the day, you're ready to kick the dog and beat, you know, throw the cat out the window. And um, yeah, I just, I, I'm so glad it's, I don't have to do that every morning anymore. <laughs> I don't miss that at all. Kick but, the dog and throw the cat out the window. Well, after <laughs> watching, after, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Now my dogs actually will come up to me and let me pet them because they don't. Oh, that's them. Aww. so. Yeah, I'm like you need a heavier cat. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen your cat boy. It's a monster. <laughs> they're, they're getting big. They're getting big. That's I'm hoping big they break kitty. twenty pounds. <laughs> it's a nice. big cat. I'm over here feeding them. Come on, break twenty. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Come on, break another 20. <laughs> that is not 80. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's not bit. talk about COVID bonds. <laughs> yeah, so I have exactly. a little bit of time left in here, and I, I've got yes. notes from old shows that I never ever had. I make this big pile of stuff, and I never read any of them. And uh, one of the ones, did we ever talk about cat calling? Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's you may have. I was on that one, but yeah. And whether we Cat found it calling. acceptable or not, and whether it was offensive, and how did we take it? So yes, we did. Wow, I guess we yeah. did. I guess, I guess that's yeah, the one. Yeah, we did. Did, <laughs> did you guys talk about some of that in the club as well? Because I remember every time going to the club, these guys they would just grab you like they grab your butt they like grab your boobs like they're like just drive by grabs yeah it used yeah. to drive me nuts until i had the greatest friend that decided she was gonna do it back yes but she just started grabbing them in the junk and they leave <laughs> you alone the rest of the night i was like <laughs> so here's a question i know i never asked you guys Persistency. <laughs> Do you know anybody or dated anybody that named their body parts? <laughs> yes, you did. I you didn't ask that. that. No yes. Way. I yes. That one. Yep. Name? And uh, we talked about it, and there was Ashley. 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 Ashley.
I don't know if it was George. These are no, these are hey, no hey, 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 leave me out of this, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think there might George, little George. And I could be wrong. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think remember anything. That. I think maybe somebody you dated George. I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Look at how foggy your memory has gotten. I don't know what it is. I don't hey, remember I talking know, about that. <laughs> Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. Yeah. yeah. So keep going because I have a great memory, by the way. It's Call great. mine Russell the Wonder Muscle. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got there, Rob? <laughs> I could swear we never talked about that one. Back to that one again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Right. I remember yeah. some of these things, but. Uh, did we ever talk about glamour shots? Um, kind of briefly, but we didn't go into too, to it too deeply because it went off onto something else. That but usually if, what happens. <laughs> yes. And so whether people had had them done, whether you guys had received glamour shots, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I've never done a glamour shot. So. And whether yeah. they're a lie. Yeah. You know, get exactly what you get. It is not always worth it. You're you know, all excited totally and you're like, wow, man, look at this so, shot. She I looks think the only they, they, they don't do those anymore. So they went from yeah. glamour shots to, um, I don't even remember what they're called, but they're basically, you do them in lingerie now. And that's the, the new popular thing. Yes. Those and that's the yeah, new big one. I wanted I wanted to do one for, for my wife for her like her birthday gift. Yeah. And I wanted to do like a sexy dad bod calendar where I'm standing there with just an apron and maybe nothing. Oh, else you were going to be in the pictures? Yeah, oh, I was going to be in the picture. I right. thought maybe Jace would be wearing a teddy, you know, or something like that. No, I would yeah. be wearing nothing but an apron. But the problem is, is she already knows I'm like culinarily retarded. <laughs> I, I can barely identify a, a spatula for what should and shouldn't be on a, a Teflon pan. And. <laughs> Yeah, so I I get the shit end of the stick. She's like, "Ah, eh, you can't cook. Shut up." It's not the point. The point <laughs> is, I'm sexy in an apron, and my butt cheeks are hanging out. Damn it! You can do that yeah. in front of the grill. Do you grill? No. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't. Oh I don't know how to grill. Just showing up I, with a cocktail in their apron on. I would just, I would be standing there all sexy, holding a pan with some skittles in it, just to hold something like. <laughs> oh, I got. I don't have. I I ain't got it. Uh, with some pop oh ramen. Yeah, with some with <laughs> some ramen, ramen still in the package. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's funny. <laughs> I listen. I have, or 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 like dress up like Santa. She'd be like, "Yeah, look, you're fat. It fits." Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, wrap myself up like a present. She's like, I want to return. Shut up! <laughs> we have a rebate on this one. Yeah, oh, I want my man. money back. I didn't ask you. It's, so, it's I got, I got so about a minute and a half left. Have any of you guys ever cooked in the kitchen naked? No. Oh, not hell no, man. Naked. Especially not nah, man. Grease. I closed no, my wiener grease, in the oven. No, thank you. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive. That is impressive. Yeah. yeah the other problem, is, the other problem is, is that my penis is pierced three times. So if I walk too close to the fridge, it sticks. <laughs> it's magnetic, right? Magnetic. Yeah. It's got magnets on it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that part of too much information? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. That's a little on the overshare oh. side. <laughs> That's no, I always good. use an apron regardless of what's on underneath. I don't want any splatters. There you oh, go. that yeah, sounds that's very it. sexy, Chandra. Yeah. You know what? If there's any naked in the kitchen, cooking's not getting done. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's <laughs> well, not true. Some cooking's probably Oh, there's going to be some cooking, there's all right. Cooking. Yeah. There's going to be some food. <laughs> hey, guys, now with, with that note, everybody's got these terrible thoughts in their head. We're gonna, we got to end the show. So I want to thank the whole panel today and uh, and John, uh, what she had a show to do. And everybody have a great week. And thank you very much for uh, participating. And next week, you guys got to give me some good uh, listeners, by the way. The listeners in the comments below, give us some subject matters that you want us to put uh, talk about, yeah. and we'll kind of focus put some on depth that. in there. Come on, yes, we want we want yeah. risky. We yeah. want some risky stuff. So we'll put a little bit of leg into it. A little bit of leg. 
<laughs> a little bit of leg. That's right. Or stub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great that's evening. Take care. Bye. 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 All right, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.